Compact luxury crossovers are one of the most popular segments in the automotive industry. The Q5 from Audi has been a pretty competitive player in this field ever since it debuted in 2009, being one of their most popular vehicles. Its combination of good performance, many features, and stylish looks have made it a very desirable choice for many consumers. For 2018, the Q5 looks to enhance its successful formula by making the vehicle better in nearly every way. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this all new redesigned 2018 Audi Q5. For 2018, this marks the second generation for the Audi Q5, and it certainly takes on a more evolutionary and conservative approach, which is pretty unsurprising given Audi's recently redesigned products. But it's still a really handsome looking crossover. You'll find a new single frame front grille, which gives it a more imposing presence on the road. And then you'll find other nice styling touches, such as these LED headlights, as well as LED daytime running lights. And these 20 inch alloy wheels are a decent styling touch, but they certainly aren't going to offend anyone. And you'll also find a new flowing shoulder line which gives it this sporty and athletic look but overall not a bad looking vehicle and our q5 we have here is the mid trim levels the premium plus and it comes with pretty much all the desirable luxury goodies such as the audi virtual cockpit you also do have the audi mmi interface which also features apple carplay android auto and it has a panoramic panoramic moonroof too now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. You do have your unlock, your lock, your power tailgate, and then your panic alarm. This color of the Q5 is known as the Manhattan Gray Metallic with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. This also features a black leather interior. And you have your power driver seat with power recline as well as power lumbar. Stepping on inside of the Q5 here, the step in height is pretty low. One of the advantages of having a crossover. And you'll find a really upscale and accommodating cabin here. I mean, this is a really nice looking cabin from Audi and everything feels high quality inside of here. I mean, the interior quality is just impeccable. Nice soft touch materials on the dashboard and also on the door panels and everything feels very sturdy inside of here. Doesn't look like it's gonna, or feel like it's gonna fall apart. But probably my favorite styling touch inside of the Q5 here is the Audi virtual cockpit. I just love that screen. And you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start course what you're hearing there is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder full leather wrapped steering wheel coming to your transmission you have a seven speed automatic transmission Audi calls this their S-Tronic transmission but just go down for drive like this up for reverse and then you also do have manual shiftability via the part via the paddle shifters and when you put the vehicle into reverse this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory and we have front parking sensors rear parking sensors too and rear cross traffic alert and you can also change different settings you can also clean the rear view camera if you would like which is pretty cool if you want you just go to clean rear view camera and we'll spray a little water on it it's pretty cool you can also do a trailer view if you would like too and then you just go push for park like this, easy as that. And you have an electronic parking brake. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Q5. All windows are fully automatic. Pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators and blind spot detection.
coming up front here, find LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signal indicators. the Q5 here is your standard engine and this is pretty much going to be the most popular engine choice. You also find it on many of other Audi's vehicles. It's a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder that produces 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque with EPA estimates being a pretty decent 23 in the city and 27 on the highway. And it's only mated into the 7 speed automatic transmission. But if you want for the Q5, you can go for a more powerful engine with the SQ5, which is way more powerful than this 2 liter here. But this is pretty much the standard powertrain for the Q5. Competitors of the Q5, you have the vehicles in the compact luxury crossover class. This includes the likes of the Mercedes Benz GLC. You also do have the BMW X3, the Lexus NX, Cadillac XT5, many competitors in this class. Trims of the Q5 start at the premium model, then you have the mid trim level, the premium plus, which is what we have here, and then the top of the line prestige. Total vehicle price for our particular model is also around $53,900. You also do have roof rails on top. And coming to the rear, you'll find LED tail lights with LED turn signal indicators and rear fog lights, dual exhaust tips, as well as a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster. All of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks, memory seat settings for two people. Like I said, I just love this interior of the Q5. It's just drop dead gorgeous, and it's such a vast improvement over the last generation Q5. And you'll also find that this interior is more open and airy feeling than the last generation and it doesn't feel as claustrophobic inside. Visibility is pretty good out of the Q5. There's a reasonable amount of side glass area on the front windows. Seeing out of the rear isn't too bad. And I love how they kept the sleek styling, but they also kept the visibility pretty good too. And you know, the A pillars are pretty narrow and thin. The seats in the Q5 are also fairly comfortable, nice and plush, and side bolstering is pretty good too. Thigh support can be slightly better, however. Up here, you'll find an auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated compass and LED map lights with touch sensitive buttons and a full on panoramic moonroof. Gives the cabin much more light inside. Any of a sl sliding power shade. Up here, you also find your SOS safety connect and your garage home link, too. Dual cup holders and your center console with a sliding tray, dual USB charging port, and auxiliary input. Down here you also find your Audi Drive Select, which is for your different driver selectable modes, which I will get to in just a minute. This button right here is for your automatic start-stop system. You could turn this off if you would like. And basically, the automatic start-stop system is basically for when you come to a complete stop with the vehicle, the engine will actually shut off to save a little bit of fuel. And you could turn that off if you would like, which is pretty convenient. You have your traction control off button and then your parking sensors button. You could turn that off if you would like. And then your downhill descent control. The Q5 also comes with three zone automatic climate control. You have your fan speed level, different zones with your toggle switches, which have a very high quality feel. And then your temperatures, as well as your recycling mode. And then your three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. 
Another innovative feature that you'll find on the Q5 is the vehicle exit assist. So basically if there's a cyclist or another vehicle approaching closely by your side, the vehicle will actually alert you before you're about to exit so you don't hit the cyclist or the other vehicle. And this is really useful especially if you live in a place that's very crowded and there's a lot of people. And I wish other manufacturers would do this. One of Audi's best new features is the virtual cockpit. It's an all digital 12.3 inch screen and it shows all of your vehicle information and it's fairly easy to use being controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel here. But it shows you vehicle information such as your energy consumers, like which vehicle accessories are taking up the most energy. Also gives you long term memory of your MPG and your miles average miles per hour and then your short-term memory too and then you also do have your driver assistance you could turn that on or off like it shows you what driver assistance features are on or off and then you also do have your traffic signs too and you can also bring up a bigger view of your tachometer and speedometer if you would like then you have your media source you can change your media source for your audio from here then your note too which is basically your phone and then you also do have your navigation it shows you turn by turn directions on here too if you don't want to look at the big screen up here and it also shows you your points of interest everything that's on here it shows you pretty much on here which is pretty cool and it's really easy to look at and it's like just straight in front of you and said you don't have to look at the screen here it's not as distracting but overall love the virtual cockpit it's just beautiful looking and the graphics and the rendering are superb. Coming to the steering wheel design, love the steering wheel in the Q5, very stylish and you also find that it is manually tilting and telescoping. And you also do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls located right here and your voice recognition, Bluetooth phone controls and your heated steering wheel button. And you also find your controls for your virtual cockpit, which I just showed. Then you have your cruise control down here. Coming to the head unit and the main interface here, this is Audi's MMI interface. Excellent and very intuitive head unit. You'll also find this on many of others Audi's recently redesigned products. But it's pretty easy to use. You just control it by the dial and the buttons surrounding it, as well as the touchpad. What you won't find though is that this isn't a touch screen here like you'll, you'll find on some other vehicles. And when you come to vehicle settings, you have your Audi Drive Select. Gives you your off-road, comfort, automatic, dynamic, and your individual. And then you have vehicle settings such as your date and time, seats, exterior and interior lighting, central locking, and your garage door opener. Then you'll also find driver assistance such as your speed warning, you could set that. You have your parking aid and your efficiency assist, as well as your Audi presets. And there's two different Audi presets. You have your basic, as well as your city. And the city can actually detect pedestrians and vehicles for imminent collision. And then you have Audi side assist too. Air conditioning, you can turn on and off your auto recirculation. Service and checks, which is for your tire pressure monitoring system, oil level, and then your vehicle information and your service intervals. Coming to sound, many different sound settings that you could change from the treble, bass, balance, fader, sound effects. There's also an optional Bang & Olufsen sound system when you get the Prestige model of the Q5. All of your different audio sources including AM, FM, as well as XM satellite radio. We do have iTunes tagging and HD radio. You could set your presets if you would like. Then your external media devices, which include Bluetooth, streaming audio, USB port with iPod integration, and then your CD player, and your Wi-Fi too. Then you have your telephone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have all of your contacts stored on here, and have an integrated dial pad. And then your navigation system. Audi has one of the best nav systems in the business. You can enter in your destination by voice if you would like, or you could do it by the touchpad down here. You can enter in by just like writing a number or anything like that and this touchpad is actually all new for the Q5 and Audi's had this for a while and many of their other vehicles but it gives you Google Earth like type views 
and you also do have live traffic shows you your points of interest all that good stuff and you can zoom in and out in and out with the dial then you have your Audi connect as well as your Audi smartphone interface which is for your Apple CarPlay as well as your Android Auto then other settings that you could change for the MMI interface such as the date and time measurement units display brightness language all that good stuff but overall love the Audi MMI interface one of the best systems in the business and it has crisp and clear graphics here in terms of the way the Q5 drives it feels pretty similar to the last generation and the way it drives which is necessarily not a bad thing it does have a lighter suspension this time around and it still feels very comfortable and subdued with its ride quality it's also pretty quiet especially at highway speeds and it delivers pretty good on-road center feel and you'll also find that there's not a whole lot of body lean when turning around corners and it's pretty predictable when driving this vehicle i wouldn't say that it's precise but it'll feel like you'll want to throw this vehicle around corners sometimes and the seven speed automatic transmission does shift pretty well and the two liter turbocharged four cylinder provides quick acceleration for the q5 wouldn't necessarily call it exhilarating but it is pretty good and there's really no need for a more powerful powertrain for the Q5. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Q5. Power lift gate. The new Q5 here is also roomier than the last generation. It does feature more cargo space this time around. And you'll also find 40 20 40 split folding rear seats you have your cargo cover here and a spare tire but it does feature a decent amount of cargo space when you compare it to some of its competitors in this class it's pretty easy to fold the rear seats down too Interior quality does follow through in the rear. Back here in the Q5, you'll find a decent amount of leg room. And headroom isn't too bad either. You have dual map pockets, three stage heated rear seats, rear air vents, and a 12 volt power outlet. However, I would like to see them add a USB charging port back here. And you have rear adjustable headrest, as well as a rear center armrest with cup holders. Seats themselves are pretty comfortable pretty plush and compared to the competition the Q5 is a little on the smaller side in terms of cabin space it can be a little bit better for the rear passengers even though they made the cabin roomier um, for the rear passengers it still is a little slightly tight back here all right so with its upscale amenities, its excellent and intuitive technology, and its refined driving dynamics, the 2018 Audi Q5 remains a very compelling choice in the compact luxury crossover class. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.